What is up, YouTubers? And welcome back to more Pokemon Team Rocket Edition. And I actually wanted to say one more thing uh, to you guys before we actually go ahead and start up this gym. Uh, for all of y'all out there who actually leave comments on my video that's, that are saying, like, you're awesome, oh, Drew, you're the best LP, or you, I love you, or, or you have a big... <laughs> I'm just kidding, but, um... Seriously, for all y'all out there that say like the wonderful comments, I really appreciate it and really does make me want to upload. Um, you know, I, I know I, I, my channel isn't like super huge, but I'm, I'm aiming for a certain mark. But um, hope I can reach it. I'm, I'm, I'm loving making the videos for you guys. And um, let's go ahead and get into the battle. This looks like a water gym, so I actually really wish I had that Bulbasaur right now. I got a crit on bite and gold that goes for disable. And I'm going to go for Payday, coins get scattered everywhere, and one more Payday is going to take out the Golduck as he switches into a Dugong. Now a Dugong level 18, I don't know how the hell he got it, but he does. Um, I'm not sure if it's Ice type, but I'm going to go for an Ember, and it is not Ice type, so that is why it is not very fine. I'm actually going to go for a Dig, I want to see how much uh, Dig will do. And it doesn't do too much, but it think... Uh, I'm trying to figure out which move does the most, and I just go for a scratch as the dugong is defeated. Now, this gym is going to be quite difficult since I don't have a grass-type Pokemon, and I don't really know where to catch a grass-type Pokemon, um, unless you guys leave some comments below. <laughs> it's kind of too late for that, but the gym leader is over there, and we got one more trainer right here that we're going to take on, and I might grind my Pokemon up a little bit. Damn, dude, she's got a Starmie? Uh, goes for the... Uh, the Fuck, I forgot what it's called. But I'm gonna go for Bite, and Bite actually takes out the Starmie. So that was actually pretty good. And next is the Gym Leader. So we're like two minutes into the end of the video, and we are already at the Gym Leader. But I'm gonna actually try and beat the Gym Leader right here. I don't know what kind of Pokemon she's gonna have, but we are going to find out. Hi, how are you doing? My name is Sandy. The Gym only uses Water-type Pokemon. They defend me whenever I am attacked in the Volcano. It makes me stronger than anyone who uses Pokemon from there. And that is where I got my fucking Charmander from. Which means it's fire type. Anyways, there's Misty. AKA Sandy. And she has a Vaporeon? Level 24. Wow. I'm gonna go for Bite. See how much Bite does. I get a crit, which is awesome. It goes for Tackle. And Tackle does like the same amount of damage. I'm actually surprised to outspeed it. I get another crit, which is fantastic. Sand attack misses. And it goes for Quick Attack. And I want Bite to take it out so bad. Oh, it didn't take it out. Bite! Yes! Speed tie. Actually, no, it's not a speed tie because it went for quick attack. I just forgot that. Pussy is trying to learn Screech. And yes, I'm going to teach it Screech right now because I'm going to show you what is going to help you win this battle. We're going to go ahead and get rid of Scratch. And I'm going to Screech the enemy. Then I'm going to just start, you know, biting it and doing whatever I, prob I practically can. Lapras is about to come out. I know Lapras is part ice type in this game, so my fire, but I'm just gonna like lower the hell out of its defense. I go for one screech and it goes for mist. I'm not sure what mist does, but I think it negates um, losing something. But that Lapras is level 30 fucking 2. So serious right now, guys. And of course, it goes for an X defend. And my screeches keep missing. I'm just gonna go for a bite. I get a crit and Bubble Beam kills me, so. And it kills my Charmeleon. Guys, this is going to be a pain in the ass. I will be right back. Alright guys, we're back. <clears throat> so it turns out, whenever you, um, go, like, like, head off to the next city and the the mountain area there's pokemon that are on like level 23 24 ish there's like clefairies jigglypuffs grimers zubats of fucking course and um i grinded my pokemon up a little bit i got them both to level 25 tried to battle sandy again uh meowth grew to level like 26 from killing the vaporeon and then i just fucking stayed off screen and I just got them both to level 30 and you will see what happens when you get a Meowth to level 30 right now. I still don't think that's good enough considering the Lapras is on level 32 which is really really high but we do have a Persian now and I'm gonna go for Bite and Bite should be doing a lot to the Vaporeon even though it doesn't even do half. 
So these water Pokemon are just really, really fucking powerful. And I'm glad she uses the X Defend on the Vaporeon instead of on the Lapras. And fuck, dude, I keep missing my bite just because I got sand attacked one time. We're going to speed it up a little bit. I'm going to switch out into Charmeleon right now, which is probably going to get owned by a fucking, like, one hit. I'm going to go for S-Toss because it does the most damage, and then Bubble Beam is not going to kill me, but my speed gets lowered, and that is going to kill me. Now, I don't really know if I'm going to be able to beat this because this is my second try with you guys watching uh, or viewing the video, and I go for a bite, then Bubble Beam hits me, my fucking speed falls, which is ridiculous. I'm going to go for a potion uh, as they go for the X defend. I'm going to go for a bite. Goes for mist, which is great. And Lapras gets flinched on that bite. One more bite. And the Lapras goes down to a critical hit. Fuck yes. I just really, really wish my Persian would get the move Slash by now. Because that would be absolutely fantastic. Anyways, we get the Cascade badge. We get $3,100. I think I'm only at like $4,000. I bought two repels. But um, we get... We, we get Did we get cut? Um, TM11 is Bubble Beam, so whenever we get a Water Pokemon, um, that is what's going to happen. And the badge actually does show up as the second badge. I don't even think I've fought Brock yet. No, we have, this, this was the first gym leader. First gym in the game, and the uh, gym leader has an, a, a Pokemon level 24 and 30 fucking 2, dude. That is some intense shit. And whoever said, uh, you should have picked Ekans in the beginning, in the comment section of the last video, fuck off, because... Ekans is, Ekans wouldn't have done shit. <laughs> I would have had, like the move wrap. I would have had to wrap stall him. Anyways, we're gonna walk around here and enter the cave. And this cave isn't that long. I actually forgot to use my repel. I still have that weapon to use. I don't know what I'm. I could have just shot Sandy and stole her badge. Which would have been great. But the repel does help out because I did grind up in here a lot. It's not a long cave at all. All you do is like go down down and this literally is the end of the cave and this is like the lavender town remake as you can tell by the music mr bank went to the poke sent materi to pray do you know my daddy mr bank all right so they ain't got nothing going on in that house we're gonna skip to the next one this used to be a good town before they made the graveyard now no one wants to visit oh well i'm here i like the all right, let's see what this dude's doing. I am the official name raider. All right, so now we know where we can nickname our Pokemon and our repels effect wore off. Uh, there's the girl right here. Did you visit the Poke Cemetery? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say yes and see what she says. She would stop walking around. Uh, then she, all she says, you're so brave. So the Pokemon Center's right here. I'm not sure if we actually hit up my Pokemon. I kind of forgot, but we're gonna... See what's to the left is the next route, and over here is the Pokemon Mart. This town is known as the gravesite of Pokemon in the Pokemon Cemetery. Okay, so everybody seems to be talking about that. What can we buy here? We can buy revives, and that's about it. Revives, Great Balls, and Super Repels, which is pretty good. I'm not going to get anything right now. This is the... Um, what are you doing here? Team Rocket is the reason we're... Oh. <laughs> Alright, so I'm assuming this is the graveyard. I lost my Graveler in a battle. I am a Chandler. The spirits are up to the mischief. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and go through here. The Poke Cemetery. See what's going on up in here. I forgot, I want to actually see what sound this is. Let's We're in Laramar Town. Laramar Town. I don't know why my guy is up there, but he should be right here. Because we went to Might Ear, which is right here, and we were just in Fieldsburg City. Get it right, game. Oh, shit. Bitch! Hey, Drew! We must be the lucky ones. Our Pokemon don't die, they only faint. Let's see if I can kill yours. Wow. That's a great, great thing to say. Bitch wants to fight. She has five Pokemon, dude. 
I only have two. That's because I can't even. I can't find no other Pokemon that I want. I'm gonna put Bite as the first move because obviously Bite's the best move. Um, take out the Eradicate. My pussy grows to level 31. Dodo's about to come out. Switch into Charmeleon. Gonna go for that Ember and Charmeleon learned Rage. Even though Rage kind of sucks. Switch things around. Two Embers will kill the Dodo. Uh, Grimer's about to come out. So these are all like the Pokemon I just battled in when I was training and shit. Fucking Grimers. All I had to use was Dig and it one shot at everything. Uh, Cubone. We're gonna switch out into my Persian, which has Water Gun. And a Payday will kill it. And the Ekans is going to die to a Bite. See, I don't, I don't know why. I don't even know if we were supposed to take on that gym at the moment. Since it is like the second badge. But I did. And we won. So, I have no idea. She says, you cheater. I took it easy on you too. And we get 480 bucks and some money from Payday. I'm actually impressed. You might become competition after all. Anyway, there will be a lot of ghosts attacking you. Besides, you can't reach the top without a ghost scope. Peace. Alright, wait. What the fuck? We need a goddamn ghost scope? Where am I supposed to get a damn ghost scope? Alright, so we're gonna battle this Chandler. Who has a ghastly level 36? Dude! Are you kidding me? Level 36! So my rival was like easy as fuck to beat, and then the Chandlers have ghastlies on level 36. And that is why I cannot get through here. So we're actually going to go back. I think that Pokemon... Yeah, look. Level 34, dude. These Pokemon are super high levels. We're just going to go back. And we are going to come back here later. So after... I know when you visit Lavender Town in the original red version. Technically, you're supposed to go left to Celadon. Or you can go down to Fuchsia. And I think the, the easier way to, to do it at the moment, since I am looking for some Pokemon to catch to add to my team, I'm going to go check out this route right here. And we have some trainers. I love my grass Pokemon. Don't hurt them. All right. So she has a gloom. Yeah, this is definitely more like familiar <laughs> when the Pokemon are only on level 23, not fucking like 39 and 34 and like 36. I don't even remember, dude. Uh, there's a Mankey in here we could catch. I'm actually not going to catch a Mankey. I don't want a Fighting type. Don't want a Fero. Um, co actually, comment below if you want me to, to catch a Pokemon to put on the team. Abra. I would love to have an Abra, but the only problem is I do not think uh, you can get Alakazam in this game unless I, like, look it up. I want my Pokemon at the Casino. Alright, so this dude has a Venomoth, which is going to die to two Embers and a Burn. And I got fucking Poison, which is just horrible. And a dig to kill the ground. I'm actually going to run back real quick to heal up because I'm poisoned. And we are back. So, like I, like I just said, if you see any Pokemon in the wild, like the Mankey or the Spearow that you would like me to use, just comment below. And depending on how many comments I get and how many people actually like wanna wanted me to use it, I might catch it. But I think this is the same route as... Oh, he uses Teleport, damn it. Um, don't know what's in here. Bulbasaur! Oh yeah! Got like 30 comments to use that Pokemon in the in the first one. Definitely gonna catch the Bulbasaur. I'm um, gonna go for a Rage. And fuck! I forgot you can't throw a Pokeball after you use Rage! Oh dude, we're catching that Bulbasaur, which is right here again. Alright, he goes for Vine Whip. I don't know if he can... Let's just throw a Pokeball at him. Um, I get hurt by Poison. And I caught the Bulbasaur, yes! Yes, and I know exactly what I'm going to call it, just like all my other games. Well, not like all my other games, but like like my uh, my Wi-Fi battles. I always call my grass Pokemon Flower Power. I, I just like it. And anyways, we got a Bulbasaur, which is definitely an excellent, excellent Pokemon to have on the team. Holy shit, you don't even know. Great move set. I don't even want... Uh, well, we got Leech Seed, Vine with Poison Powder, and Growl. And I think the only other move that it had would have been um, Tackle. And we can't fight on Bulbasaur and Bulbasaur, but this is a great place to train Charmeleon. Um, which I'm actually gonna... Shit, why did I go for Dig on a Spearow? Um, actually, I'm gonna pause real quick and go to the Pokemon Center and just check out the Bulbasaur and try and get it to an Ivysaur, because I'm actually 
really excited, and I'm trying not to act like a little girl, but you guys know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Alright, guys. So basically, while I was training, I ended up coming south or down below from the city that I was just at, and I caught a execute. Well, I caught execute in the route where I caught Bulbasaur, and it was Barrage and Hypnosis, and um, I picked him up as well as, you know, Bulbasaur right there. And there's a few other Pokemon that I actually saw in the route right below where I'm standing, and I went absolutely apeshit. There's like four Pokemon types, or four different types of Pokemon that I want to catch right now, and I'm going to be needing you people to leave comments below on what Pokemon I need to use on my team. But obviously, as you can see, there is a Dratini in the fucking grass, which is insane. So if you want to use a Dragonite eventually... We need to catch a dragon, uh, Dratini, and then evolve it into a Dragonair. But this one's level 25. I did a, a, a C1 on level 30 as I was training. You know, Bulbasaur is still trying to get it to evolve to the next level. Uh, grow to the next level so it can evolve. But anyways, Dratini finally goes down, and my flower power still didn't grow to the next level. There's also uh, Krabbies in here, which I'm going to catch a Krabby real quick. Uh, which I can catch it now. And there's a... Um, I think there is a poly polywirl, which if I get a water stone, I can get a polyrath for a good water type Pokemon. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and nickname the Krabby at the moment, so be right back. Alright, and we're back. Uh, I'm going to keep going through here. There's also Psyducks you can find in here, but I'm not interested in a Psyduck, and I also nicknamed my Krabby X-Grip. I don't know, I ju it just came to me, <laughs> which it dies in its level. Um, I'm gonna go for Barrage and hopefully kill the Psyduck and my coconut is still level 23 And there's Ditto's over here as well, which I will catch a Ditto and I guess I can go for Ember Which is not gonna be very effective and I'm gonna go ahead and catch the Ditto um, I don't know what I'm gonna name a Ditto yet. Um, I, I know what I'm gonna name it This is, is kind of random, but I'm, I'm doing all this shit on on screen. I don't know, but he always se seemed to me look like he was some pudding. So I'm going to name him Pudding. And Dratini. I, I want the Dratini on level 30. Come on, Dratini. Because if, if I can save 10... Le there was the uh, Poliwhirl. Alright, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, my uh, partner called me real quick. So basically what happened is I caught a shitload of Pokemon and I actually did not catch Dratini. Because it took... I, I, I used all my money. I bought some Great Balls and I still could not catch Dratini. And Dratini would actually be an extreme pain in the ass to train up but what I did catch for the team is uh first of all we're gonna start from the bottom I have an EV on level 28 which obviously can evolve into any of the three Pokemon as long as you have in a stone we have coconut the execute um x grip the Krabby uh putting the ditto and bazooka which is a squirtle at level 24 which is great I actually could have all three starters but I did eventually, I did do a walkthrough back then on the uh, Pokemon Yellow version where I did use all three starters. And if I could, I might be able to use like Kingler, Poliwrath, um, Vaporeon, you know, anything. Blastoise, if, if a lot of people want me to use Blastoise, I will definitely use Blastoise. But we're going to have a Ivysaur at the moment, a Charmeleon, and a Persian. And you know, I could switch things up at any time in this game and... And use different Pokemon, make it more entertaining, which would actually be a really, really fun thing to do. And I know a lot of people don't actually do that. But anyways, there's a dead end if you go down there to the left right there. There's really nothing to do over there. Up here, if you just follow the like little bike path, there's another dude to fight right here. And he says, you didn't see me in my little secret path. So I'm going to go for Vine Whip. I didn't really uh, do anything. going to go for Leech Seed. And I guess we can Poison Powder him. Oh, wait, it doesn't affect him because he's Poison type. Damn. Um, I'm going to go ahead and beat this trainer real quick, and then Ember, Ember, the Nidorino, and his, his next Pokemon is Muck, which we're going to go for Dig, Boom, and Ember should take it out after the burn, which is fantastic, and his last Pokemon is a Hypno, we're going to go for Ember, go for Dig, and I get a crit, which is awesome, and Super Nerd is defeated. So I will see you guys next episode, hopefully tomorrow, if I can keep uploading videos daily, you guys leave shitloads of comments below for me to read. I got like 20 comments plus in one day. I, I want to try and aim for 30. I love you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.